I would say this section is like basically every story that a sunbeam can draw a picture of, right? <laughs> there's like the bow, there's like the boat, there's, you know, these very memorable stories. And then there's a lot of family drama. The challenge is for some of the members of the party, I would say the Daughters of Ishmael, is they've been like brought along to marry these people they don't know at all. And they, we, we, Ben and I were doing the math. So there's like five Daughters of Ishmael and then there's, eventually there's, you know, the four grown up sons of Lehi plus Zoram. You're like, there's not a lot of options here. You just gotta kind of pair up. That would be a challenge, mm -hmm. um, an emotional challenge. Uh, Nephi's bow breaks, they have to build a boat. Um, they're in the wilderness, they think they're gonna die. So I assume at a certain point, you know, at many points things weren't going well. So it's just a really hard time. At the same time, there are these incredible miracles. Um, like Nephi learning um, through intuition, through revelation, how to build a boat. Um, the brass, um, the ball, mm -hmm. or the compass appears, is actually not named as the Liahona in these chapters. It's only named, named as the Liahona in Alma. So they just call it a ball or a compass. Um, that's pretty cool. So it, it's a really dramatic time and there are these really fun, colorful stories uh, that we can kind of connect to metaphorically or actually, or, you know, there's just so many different things going on. <laughs>